What's up YouTube? Personal brand, personal brand, personal brand. If you're in advertising, you've heard these words too many times. But what is it? And how do you find yours? Lego. So a personal brand is basically just a fancy way to say reputation. How do people view you in your field? By creating a strong personal brand, you're positioning yourself to stand out in what is an overly saturated and competitive industry. To find out your current reputation, I have a quick exercise for you. Text a few people you work with and ask one simple question. In the workplace, what are three positive words and three negative words that describe you? Compile that list. That's your reputation slash your personal brand amongst your peers. My coworkers told me I was creative, organized, and hardworking, but also that I can be anxious, overstressed, and emotional at times. The good and the bad make up your reputation, but they give you concrete things to work on if you want to change perception. And your personal brand goes far beyond your workplace. How are you viewed by the mass majority of people? If you're a freelancer, what skills are you known for amongst your clients? And if you're going into a job interview, what makes you stand out? What's your POV? By building your personal brand, you start to establish authority, trust, awareness, networking opportunities, and most importantly, a platform to grow on for the rest of your career. So where do you start? Don't look too far. The first step is to simply just be you. Being authentically yourself is key to creating trust amongst whoever you're talking to. Honesty always wins. Don't position yourself to be an awesome typographer, if you're not one. Let people know your skills, your passions, and how you define yourself. Second is to establish your core beliefs, your North Star. My brand's core values are to be open and honest, to be as creative as I can be, and to provide value without any expectation. This all lives under the brand that I've established for myself, Open Door Creative, the name of this channel. Third is to further position yourself by finding your voice. Just like any other brand, the way you speak on social media, the way you speak in presentations, or the way you speak in your day-to-day -day conversations, they're all the reflection of you and your brand. Your brand comes across at every touch point you communicate with whoever is listening. Fourth, and this mostly pertains to creatives, but you have to create the visual identity of your brand. Your logo, your website, and any other materials that promote yourself should be very consistent and follow a similar brand tone. Your visuals will likely be the first impression somebody has of you. What do you want them to take away? Do you use bright colors and a playful logo to show that you know, you're a fun designer? Or is your logo a little bit more structured and corporate to show a high level of professionalism? And lastly is to just get your personal brand out there. Once your brand is established, the sky's the limit. Post on social, make a blog, or just let it live on your website. Choose the impact that you want your personal brand to have and then reverse engineer how to get there. Some people just need a personal brand to showcase their work on their site, while others want to go make a business out of it. Focus on on your own goals and then use your personal brand to help you get there. I would love to hear how you guys have branded yourself in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed or haven't clicked the little bell to be notified of upcoming videos, do so if you wish. Y'all are just the best. I'll see you in the next one.